Welcome back to Tampa Bay's Morning Blend. If you've been with us the past few weeks, well, you've heard about this station initiative that we've had with Feeding Tampa Bay and also the Pinellas Community Foundation about spending 20 days and focusing on helping one another, especially when it comes to making sure everybody has meals. One of the groups we partnered with, though, the Pinellas Community Foundation, joins us now to talk a little bit about what they do for the community. I'm so excited to welcome Doug into the show. So how are you, first and foremost? Good morning. Good morning, all is well and happy and healthy and uh, couldn't ask for uh, couldn't ask for more considering the circumstances. You know what? We know that feeling. We know that feeling well because there are a lot of families that, given the situation, are not as lucky right now. And that's why we wanted to start this partnership with you to help those in need. But before we dive into a little bit about that, let's talk about the history because you have been helping the Tampa Bay community for many years. Explain what you're able to do. Sure. We've been in the community for 51 years now, uh, established as a trust in Pinellas County. And through that, uh, we have been able to build relationships with charities and nonprofits throughout the community, uh, get really embedded and know what the community issues are. And through the help and support of a variety of donors across the community, are able to give grants to make a true and lasting difference uh, for significant issues in our community. So let's fast forward. You and I both been addressing some of those needs have been a little different the past few months here. So what are some of the issues that you are addressing right now in today's environment? Sure. And, and things have been exacerbated by the current issues. But for us, um, the issues, the top issues remain food. Um, and making sure people have access to, to fresh and healthy food and uh, affordable housing and housing as a, as a whole is a significant issue. Um, but then more today, and I think more prevalent today is, is providing access to healthcare. Um, and so those are three significant issues that our foundation is working on uh, with our partners across the community, uh, helping to meet people's needs. And you've touched, of course, on the foundations that you're able to cre create and the organizations you're able to work with and kind of partner with. Explain how this happens. Explain how you are able to take action in Pinellas County. Sure. And so in a couple of ways, one, we have traditional grant programs that provide operating funds to a variety of charities in the community. And those cycles continue year in and year out. Uh, but when a crisis arrives, like our current coronavirus crisis uh, and COVID-19, we've been able to partner with others like United Way Foundation for Healthy St. Petersburg and Allegheny and Franciscan Ministries to build not only a foundation for today and responding to today's crisis, uh, but being ready for the next crisis as well, helping to raise and build the resilience of our community. And through that, we have taken a variety of grant applications, quick and turn that around and put money right back into the community to help where it's needed most. You know, Doug, and as a broadcaster, I always tell people I'm really fortunate to see the different charities and organizations around the Bay Area that people can get involved in. And that's kind of what you're able to do. And that's got to be such a rewarding experience because you don't just focus your assets in one direction, say food. You're also looking at health care, which really makes it a win-win for people if they're looking to get involved but maybe not sure how to do it quite yet or which way they wanna go, correct? Yes, that's correct. And so through a community foundation like Pinellas Community Foundation, uh, donors are able to support us. Um, we are very well aware of the community's needs because of the regular applications, the relationships that we have built over the years. Um, and so we are able to take and turn those donations over into grants uh, to meet uh, the needs where they're needed most. Um, and through perpetual funds at the foundation, uh, we're able to address issues in the future that we might not even be thinking about today. So donors can rest assured when they give to the foundation, not only are we focused on what's happening right now and what's going on in our community right now, but we're ready for the future too. I love that. That is such an important part to end on, I think, that you can go ahead, you can give to the Pinellas Community Foundation and know that your money is going to be spent in a wise way to help those who need it most. There's the website you see right there. And again, thank you so much for this partnership that you've been able to do with us in the 20 days. We really appreciate it. And, and of course, you can get involved. There's the information for the Pinellas Community Foundation as well. Doug, and stay in touch. I hope we can visit again soon. Thank you very much. Have a great day, okay? You too, thank you.